Boyd, who emerges with the ball. Flips it through, looking for Donnelly. This is Tom. Andreas Tom's going to try one here. Oh, that is an incredible goal by Andreas Tom. What a mighty strike, an awesome strike. Nine minutes gone here at Ibrook Stadium. There's jubilation among the Celtic fans. A stunning goal by Andreas Tom, which gave Andy Gorham no chance at all. The gap opened up. It was obvious he was going to hit it. But my goodness, what a goal. He's seventh of the season. Absolutely magnificent. Absolutely sensational goal from Tom. First time he's moved into the central role. There's no doubt in his mind to strike this. He put some power in it, gave Gorham absolutely no chance. But good play also from Simon Donnelly, who cut it into Andy Tom. But the shot's unstoppable. Very few goalkeepers in the world would stop that. Tremendous goal. Well, they have to be good. Until the interval. Touch from Richard Goff. This is Gascoigne. Still it's Gascoigne, forcing it through. Chance on here for Loudrop. time, it definitely counts, 39 minutes, Rangers 1, Celtic 1, and Loudrup, who had switched over to the right-hand side, it was Goff who got the touch, Gascoigne did well here to hold off Van Hoydon, a little touch by Cleland who was under pressure, and Loudrup picked his spot right in the corner. Yeah, it's great play from Gaza, uses his body strength, lovely pass, Henny Cleland, but he sides puts it beautifully in the corner, Loudrup. It's a great finish. I said about five minutes ago he was starting to go more into it because Rangers pushed Ferguson forward. Now you see Rangers getting the benefits now. They looked as if they were getting forward in numbers. And they are correctly so now, back in level terms. And I can confirm it is one goal apiece. Hammered all over the top of him, and for me it's a certain penalty. So for the drama here at Ibrook Stadium. And a chance for Celtic to regain the lead. So, John Collins starts his run. And it's gone in. And again, the Celtic fans celebrate. 51 minutes gone here. John Collins puts Celtic ahead. Rangers 1, Celtic 2. And they got him. Yes, right. He might even get a bit touch on that, but he couldn't keep it out. The ball drifted into the corner. Well, he sneaked in the corner. Worms read it. Usually particularly good at these saves. John Collins is hit the back of the net, and that's the only thing that'll bother him. Rangers one, Celtic two. This is first old for him again. You really wonder if one man can cope in these circumstances. So Marshall gets things organised, Rangers are chasing the equaliser, it's Gascoigne who's over the ball. Again, Goff's forward, so too is Petric. Again, there's a fair bit of movement the far side of the box, Gascoigne strikes it in. And it's now. Super Ali does it again. Ali McCoist. Rangers, and you can see the reaction of the supporters, Rangers 2, Celtic 2, he's been in the field only a few minutes, it was Gascoigne who provided the cross, and McCoy with yet another header, just about every goal he scored this season. It's a marvellous header, it's a great free kick from Gascoigne again, he says he had a couple in the first half, but I don't think he did any takers, here's Ali McCoy, she's shown you. For all, for all the bad part that he gives you during the week of it. There's a Celtic player on the ground now as Rangers mount another attack. And that's a slack one by Boyd. Almost allowing Solenka to come in. He's got it again. And it's gone in. That's an own goal. Rangers take the lead. McCoy's can't believe it. Tom Boyd initially gave the ball away. And Tosh McKinley it was. 
who knocked the ball into his own net. All began with that slackness from Tom Boyd. Solanco seemed to have lost his, his chance, played it into the middle. Tosh McKinley was unfortunate to get the touch on it. Ali McCoy was waiting in any case. But uh, Solanco gifted the ball by Celtic. And then Tosh McKinley going in there with his own goalkeeper. And it's Rangers 3, Celtic 2. An OG from Tosh McKinley. So Celtic with it all to do now. Tosh McKinley gives the cross. It's Van Hoydon. And that's in. Well, this is quite incredible. Three goals apiece here at Ibrox. Van Hoydon picking his spot in the far corner. In some dramatic games in recent years. Tosh McKinley at the other end involved in own goal, provides an excellent cross, and Van Hoydon so often criticised for not getting up inside the area. Leaps high and sends a splendid header. Beyond Andy Gorham. Well, it's a superb header. This is what a lot of people have been saying in the past about here. We'd like to see more of it. And he pays him back today, but again, a superb cross and run from Tosh McKinley. Just in